Hello, uh, in this video uh, I will show you how to uh, make a basic log with JavaScript and HTML. So, first of all, we're going to open the HTML tag, so HTML, and close it. Then uh, we're going to add the head tag, then the title tag, title, the title will be JavaScript clock. The cutting. Then we're going to close the title tag, title, and close the head tag. Okay. Now we're going to uh, open and close the body tag. So body, uh, close body. Okay. Now we're going to add a paragraph tag. So P. And the uh, idea of this paragraph will be clock. So the clock will be displayed in this tag, between this tag. Okay. Um, now we're going to add a JavaScript script. So script type is it's a text JavaScript script. So then close the script tag. Okay. Here we're going to add a function function get time so this function will return the uh, uh, will get the will get the time the idea the current time so okay here we're going to create a a new date object so variable now will be equal to new date so now will be the new date object then we're going to create a variable for the hours so for h will be equal to now dot get hours then we're going to create a variable for the minutes so var m will be equal to now dot get minutes and a variable for the seconds so var s will be equal to now get seconds okay here we're, uh, we're going to add a new function to check if the minutes and the seconds are less than are or less than 10. If they are less than 10, we're going to add a zero in front of them. So function check time. Here will be time. It will take one parameter, and it's the parameter will be time. So then we're going to check if time is higher than 10. If uh, lower than 10. So if time is lower than uh, lower than 10, then we're going to add a zero in front of of it. So time will be equal to zero plus time. Then we're going to return time. So return time. Okay. So we we're going to um, call this method. So m will be equal to check time m and s seconds will be equal to check time s. Okay. Then we're going to um, add this variable into the um, the paragraph tag here with the clock id so document dot get element by id the id is clock okay so this will dot get the um, get the get an email an element an, an html element by a cd so the id is clock so it returned this so this tag okay so the paragraph tag has the honor HTML attributes. So this is the this HTML is the text between the two tags. So um, the inner HTML will be the the, the current time. So we're going to uh, show the hours, the hours. So h plus uh, plus minutes plus plus seconds. Okay. So this is the current current time. So then we're going to set a timeout to um, to do that h seconds. So set timeout. So the first parameter of this this function is the the, the method that will be called um, after the delay, which is the second parameter. So the method is get time, and it's um, every one second. So every um, one thousand milliseconds. 
Okay, so um, this method will be called every every one second. So that's it. And in the uh, body tag, we're going to uh, call the get time method when the page will be loaded. So unload get time. Okay, now I guess we could test this code. So save it. Save. I will save it on my desktop. So GS clock. HTML. Okay, then I'm going to um, to run it. So just clock. So um, it showed the current time. So um, that's it. So I hope you learned something in this tutorial, and I hope my English was not so bad. And if you liked liked the my videos, um, you could su subscribe to my Twitter account and my YouTube channel. So um, that's it. Um, I also need. Um, some suggestions for uh, my next videos so if you have any suggestions you can um, post them as comment on my videos so um, that's it bye